Hi everyone, John here from Ride Up State, and today I want to talk about Gridwise. Now, I've mentioned before in the past and talked about Gridwise a little bit, I think maybe on a shorter video and also on my social media channels, but Gridwise is a mileage tracking tool that you can get uh, that has a few extra features that will help, I think, mostly full-time drivers. Now, the reason I say mostly full-time drivers is because a lot of part-time drivers aren't spending as much time in their vehicles all day long. Uh, they kind of know when the best times for them to drive are, and it's true that most full-time drivers do too, but having an extra tool to help you know, say, for example, when flights are arriving at an airport or a very uh, busy train station, that can be very helpful. I've used it for about a month now, but one of the things that is a little bit frustrating, and I'm gonna be talking about three things that I think Gridwise needs to add before they can convince me to convert to using it. I currently use Stride to track my mileage and my expenses and my earnings. The only difficulty with that that I found with Stride is that for some reason or another, it will not automatically import my banking information, my income from my banking account into the app, and I have to manually put it in every week. But that's not really that big of a deal to me. It's not a deal breaker. Some of these things that I'm going to mention with Gridwise are deal breakers for me and why I won't continue to use it exclusively. I will continue to use it but I won't use it exclusively. So I want to talk about those three things that I think Gridwise needs in order to convert me. And I think this will help other drivers as well. So the first thing that they need is they need to add more cities and more markets. Currently in my state, which is New York, the only airport and weather information I can get is for New York City. Now, I understand that's where the bulk of the drivers probably are in the state, but I can't even get weather information for the capital city in my state, Albany, New York. I can't get it for Syracuse, which has an airport. Albany has an airport. You can't get it for Buffalo, which has an airport. You can't get it for Rochester, which has an airport. All these locations have airports, and yet we can't get weather or airport information for these locations. And that's the number one reason this can't be a full-time app for me, because what I'm seeing in the app doesn't reflect the market that I'm in. The second thing I'd like to see in Gridwise is expense tracking. Right now in Stride, I can track my mileage, I can add my income manually, and I can track nearly all of my expenses for ride sharing in that single app. And then it gives me at the end of the year an estimate. It's not exactly what it's going to be on my taxes, but it does give me an estimate of how much I'll owe, if anything, to the IRS at the end of the year. Gridwise, as far as I can tell, doesn't have that. I've looked at the feature set of the premium or advanced uh, access, and I don't see expense tracking in there. It's great that it imports earnings automatically and synchronizes them from Uber and Lyft and DoorDash. It's great that it tracks the mileage, but there's more than just mileage when it comes to expenses for ride sharing. And the third thing is I'd like to see Gridwise track operating costs. Now, this is different from expenses. You have an option when you're going to record your expenses for your vehicle based on mileage or actual expenses. Now, if you can track operating costs, and for the most part, mileage is gonna be your best bet. You may have a year where you've had to make a lot of repairs to your vehicle. And if you're a full-time driver, that's very, very important that you know that difference between mileage and what were my actual operating costs. Now. All of your expenses aren't deductible. All of your operating costs aren't deductible. So you're gonna to want to be able to track the difference between my tax deductions and my operating expenses. 
And that's pretty important because it really lets you know whether or not you're turning a profit in your market. So those three things, more locations, expense tracking, and then for the full-time drivers, the ability to track operating costs are three things that are preventing me from using GridWise exclusively as opposed to Stride. Thanks for watching this video. My name is John from Ride Upstate. And remember, just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits.